Hello and welcome! In the previous video about installing Windows 11 on an old PC, I promised if this video gets 5000 likes, I will film another video where we will try to find out what is the oldest PC that can run Windows 11. Windows 11 video gets more than 22,000 likes, so today you will see the next video. Have you ever had to edit a PDF file? Most of the programs don't have this feature, but one of them has. It's called Swift 2 PDF all-in-one free PDF software. Using this software, you can edit the text and copy it straight into Microsoft Word. You can add any pictures and edit them. Also, we can convert a PDF file to Word, Excel, text document, etc. In simple terms, you can convert any PDF files to all Office formats. Even optical character recognition is supported. This software provides a 15-day trial. If you're interested, link will be in the description. So, first of all, let's check Windows 11 system requirements on the official Microsoft page. And what we have? CPU 1 GHz or faster with 2 or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor, RAM 4 GB or greater, graphics card compatible with DirectX 12 or later, system firmware, UFI Secure Boot capable, TPM version 2.0 and high definition display. In simple terms, we need a PC from 2016 with 8th generation Intel Core or Ryzen 2nd generation, 4GB of RAM and HD display. I don't have a PC with these components, but I have another older computer with Intel i7 3770K on 1155 socket and 60GB of RAM. I know, it looks new, but the only thing is new here is computer case. Here is my test SSD with 240GB of capacity. I will try to install Windows 11 on it. Ok, let's boot from USB. Pressing F8 to access boot menu on Asus motherboards. Choosing my USB, the setup begins, and the error message appears. This PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install this version of Windows. That's all? Is this the end? Of course not, because we can bypass these requirements by simple actions. First, we need to press Shift and F10 at the same time, then type Rec Edit, go to Local Machine, System, Setup, then create a key named lab config, right mouse click, new dword 32 bit value, name bypass tpm check, enter, value 1, enter. Once again, right mouse click, new dword 32 bit value, name bypass secure boot, enter, value 1, and enter. That's all. Now we can proceed. The setup begins. And we succeed. Let's open system properties Intel i7 3770K. So, it means you can run Windows 11 on 3rd Intel generation. Ok, that's not surprising. What if we try to run Windows 11 on an older PC? Someone has got it running on a single core Pentium 4. Fortunately, I've got one of these PCs. It has Pentium 4 630 with 3.0 GHz, 1 core in 2 threads. 2 GB of RAM DDR1, AGP video card and motherboard called Foxconn 915PL7AE, socket 775. It has SATA ports, so we can connect an SSD, this one for example. This motherboard doesn't support booting from a USB drive, so I will use an old DVD ROM. Bearing Windows 11 image on a DVD disk, entering old BIOS, SATA SSD detects as ID slave. Do you remember how painful it was to set up slave or master devices? It caused problems even when the jumpers were in the right places. Ok, let's change first boot device to CD-ROM. Save the changes. Now we can boot from a DVD drive. Foxconn logo appears, blinking cursor on the screen, and it reboots. Unfortunately, we cannot run Windows 11 installation on this type of CPU. It's very strange, because Pentium 4 630 support all needed instructions. My first thought was the reason lies in a DVD drive, so I've tried to install Windows 7 first and then upgraded to Windows 11 using a USB stick. Opening setup.x file, the installation is loaded. Next, select Windows 11 Pro 64 bit. Next, selecting disk C and the setup begins. Windows 11 logo appears and it reboots again. 
strange. This CPU has even an X bit, which you can enable or disable in BIOS. I've tried to do this, but nothing changed. My second thought was, what about updating the BIOS? Maybe it should work? It's very difficult to find BIOS for this old motherboard. The official side no longer exists. I've tried to find BIOS on another site, and I was lucky. The latest version of BIOS for this motherboard is 2006. To update BIOS first, you need to install MS-DOS on a USB stick or just write FreeDOS via Rufus. Then copy BIOS image to USB stick and boot from it. Yes, actually you can boot from USB in this BIOS, but only if there is MS-DOS. I've tried to boot Windows 7 installer, but it won't start by unknown reason. Ok, now we need to write name of .x file, which is goes with a BIOS image. The Phoenix BIOS utility window appears. It asks us to save backup to USB flash drive. Ok, let's uh, do it just in case. The BIOS update is beginning. This is how old BIOS update look. It flashed properly. Now we start installation again, but absolutely nothing has changed. This was the latest version of BIOS. What if the reason is RAM or motherboard? That's why I will try to install Pentium 4 630 on another new motherboard, but with 6 GB of RAM DDR2. And it happened again. Reboot. And at that moment, it suddenly hit me. What a fool I am. Why I've tried to install the 64-bit version of Windows 11 on a computer with only 2 GB of RAM? I found a 32-bit Windows image version 1507 on my hard disks. Incredible, but the installation was successful. So what about Windows 11 32-bit image? It doesn't exist. Microsoft generally decided to get rid of 32-bit systems. No matter how much I was looking for 32-bit Windows 11, I couldn't find it anywhere. So why Windows 11 installation won't start on Pentium 4 630? It happens due to the lack of 64-bit CPU instruction that you can see on your screens. Pentium 4 630 simply doesn't have it without the instruction, you won't be able to start Windows 11 64-bit installation. That's why the 32-bit system was installed successfully, but the 64-bit was not. I was very close with the right processor, because one of the oldest CPU that can run Windows 11 64-bit is Pentium 4 631. This CPU has the 64-bit instruction. I've spent a lot of time to find the 631 CPU, but my searches were unsuccessful. I found a person who kindly provided to me Pentium 4 651 for rent, which of course has the instruction. I think this CPU is perfect to the test. Unfortunately, our old Foxconn motherboard doesn't support this CPU. Honestly, this is the worst motherboard I've ever seen in my life because it supports Pentium 630 and 650, but not 631 and 651. Why? It's okay because I have another PC on socket 775, which I mentioned before. Let's install the CPU and boot Windows 11 setup from it. Open BIOS, and here is our Pentium 4 651 with 3.4 GHz. Booting from USB, Windows 11 logo appears, and it worked. Great. Next, of course, we have the same error as before. We can skip it by using the same way. Choosing Windows 11 Pro 64 bit, custom install, choosing our test SSD, and the setup begins. Next, 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 and congratulations! We did it. Windows 11 on one of the oldest CPU, Pentium 4 651. Let's go to my computer properties. Here it is. Pentium 4 3.4 GHz. Let's open CPU Z, one core and two threads, Cedar Mill. Let's open Task Manager. Incredible, but the CPU load even not 100%. What a great old CPU which can handle modern operating system. This CPU was released on January 5, 2006. Windows 11 was released on October 5, 2021. 
It means you can run Windows 11 on an old PC after 15 years without any issues. And you can install Windows 11 on a CPU starting from Pentium 4 631. Incredible, isn't it? Plus, you can run Windows 10 32-bit system on an older Pentium 4 630, maybe even older. I will film a video about Windows 10 too. So what are the real system requirements for Windows 11? The real system requirement is a CPU with that 64-bit instruction. That's all. If this video gets 5000 likes, I will try to connect a modern GPU to this PC and try to run modern games. It will be fun to see what happens. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.